So what we're going to do now is use our layer masking, put it into a really good effect here. So we've looked at how we can blend images together with a layer mask, but this time we're going to look at how we can do a simple reflection effect like this. So if you've been following the tutorials, really there's nothing new I'm going to show you here. It's just a different way of implementing stuff from this original image here. Okay, so let's look at how we go from this over to this. So let me go back to my original flower image. So in this image, first of all, I want to make this into a layer. So let's just double click on this. So by default, look, it's a background and it's locked. So let's just double click, call it flower. Okay, so we've got our layer. So I need to make a good selection of this, selection of the piece that I want to actually keep. So I'm going to use my quick selection tool. Zoom in a little bit and let's just select the part of the image that I want to keep. Okay, it's gone a little bit too far there, so let's just my Alt key. Get rid of this bit. Okay, so I've got a reasonably good selection there. Um, oh, add this little bit in here, so I want to keep that. But what I'm going to do is just refine the selection, okay, to make it a little bit better. In fact, what I'm going to do, let's zoom in here, look, there's a little bit there I don't want as well. So let's just reduce the size of my brush head, okay, press my Alt key just to subtract that little bit out as well. Okay, and another little bit there. Again, so just refining this selection out a little bit. Obviously, the longer we spend making the selection good, the, the better the effect's going to be. But at this stage, I'm going to click on my Refine Edge. So again, by doing this, it gives me a little preview look of the selection, and it's a bit rough around the edge. There's a little bit of the background I don't want, so I can come in here. Let's shift this edge in a little bit. Okay, so that really gets rid of that sort of darkness around the edge. Let's just feather it a little bit there, smooth the edge out a little bit. So again, just by doing these little refinements, look, makes the edge a lot neater for us as we're coming out there. So I'm going to, for this instance, I'm just going to output it to selection. Okay, and in fact, you know what I'll do? I'll output it to a new layer. Okay, so then I'll click OK. So now I've got the selection made of the flower. I've still got the flower underneath if I want to refer back to the original image but it's just come out there. So let me just zoom out. So what I need to do is make this document a different size because I can't fit the reflection underneath at the moment. So let's go to image and I'm going to go to canvas size. Okay, actually cancel that. Let's go back. Let's go to image, image size. Okay, so at the minute this image is very large, but it's a low resolution. So as long as I've got this button ticked off, I can change the resolution and it'll automatically scale it to be the right size. So let's put 300 in there. So I want it to be a good print resolution. And it's automatically scaled the image to the, the relevant size for that. So 300 pixels per inch. This image is still a good size look for me to use. So let's click OK. So let's go to image canvas size again. So I want to give me myself more space at the bottom. So I'm going to click the anchor at the top. So when I make it taller, it's going to go down. Okay, so the height. Let's make this, let's say 50. So I've got plenty of room to work with that. Zoom out a bit. So now it's probably a little bit big actually. Let's reduce that down. Use my selection tool. Let's just go to there and I can go to image and crop there. Okay, so that's a decent size for me to use. I've got enough room underneath to place the additional flower that I want. So, got my layer. Okay, so I need to duplicate this and flip it to make a mirror image underneath. So, I can click on the layer, go up here, duplicate layer. Okay, pull this down here. And I want to transform it to flip it across. So let's go up to edit transform flip vertical there so basically I've got a mirror image of the flower now let's just position it okay right on the tip there I want it to be nicely touching at the end there zoom out a little bit more so I've got my two flowers 
Okay, so now, I mean, if you have been following my tutorials through from the beginning, we'll do with layer masks. This is the one thing I haven't shown you, which is how just to put in a basic sort of background or a shape layer. Again, I'll be doing lots more tutorials about shapes and things, but as a basic way to put in a nice background color, the easiest way is to make what's called a shape layer. So let's come across to my toolbar, down to the bottom here, and I've just got this shape tool, rectangle tool. If I hold down on that, I've got all these different shapes. I'll be going through all this in the custom shape tool a little bit later on in another tutorial, but let's just choose the rectangle tool. Okay, and the fill color, I can choose here, look, so I just want that to be black. And all I do, okay, is click and drag. And I've made a big black box. Okay, I've got a properties panel that's popped up here, but again, I'm not going to go into this one now. I'm just going to collapse that down and look into my layers. So I've got a basic rectangle, and this is a shape layer. Okay, so let's drag this down to being underneath. Now, I can double click. The good thing about shape layers is you can change the color of them dead easily. Okay, so we're not just filling in with solid pixels. I double click on that rectangle here, look. I can basically just change the color to be whatever I want. Okay, but again, I'll talk a lot more about shape layers a little bit later on in another tutorial. But for this instance, I just want a nice black background for me. So, I've got my flower copy two, which is underneath. So this is the one I want to kind of gradually tint out to make my reflection. Let's choose that flower. I'm going to add in my layer mask here. Choose the layer mask. Come across to my gradient tool. Make sure I've got my gradient tool set on foreground to transparent, which is the second one. So we've got this little checkered checkered site visible here. Choose that. Okay, and drag up there. So you can see I'm gradually, again, I can add it in, keep going, however far I want it to be, to apply that reflection here. And again, because I'm using a layer mask, if I go too far, I'm not too happy with that. Let's just delete it. Okay, let's grab the layer mask, get rid of it, delete it, back again add in the mask, make sure I'm editing the mask, not the layer again, choose my gradient tool, and drag up there, okay, so it's giving me my reflection, and now what I'm going to do, just to make it a bit more convincing, I've the whole layer selected, and I've got the opacity of the layer up here, so let's just reduce that down a little bit, okay, so quite simply and easily, we've got a really nice reflection effect, all I've done is make a good selection, turn that into a layer, Duplicate the layer, flip it underneath, apply a solid background color, and use my layer mask effectively with my gradient tool. And again, this can be applied to any image. We can do it with text, we can do it with all sorts. Just gives a very simple reflection effect in Photoshop.